by him. Ooh, what a hit that was from Ahmed in training. And let's talk about Manchester United's pre-season training. What we're looking out for as fans are changes. What's Van Nistelrooy doing? What changes is he bringing? What about Rene Hake? What about Van Ruelaar, our new goalkeeping coach? I'm going to cover everything for you in this video, take you inside Manchester United's training and the little tiny tweaks and differences that hopefully will bring a much better Manchester United this season. You can let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV, where have you been? First change I want to say that's obvious straight away. We've actually got a sporting director there, an actual technical director and whatever Dave Brailsford's job is. But the support network for Eric Ten Hag is there, visible and present before and after speaking to them, speaking about the game model, actually having a genuine support network. And you know what's crazy? It's Manchester United. I've already covered uh, Andreas uh, Georgeson's appointment. But we've now this summer appointed three head coaches. Van Nistelrooy, Georgeson and Hake have all joined Eric Ten Hag's coaching staff. Now, he really has got the support. And the first person I want to focus on in this video is Ruud van Nistelrooy, who, of course, we're all excited about and what changes he could bring. And, of course, it's going to be a focus on the attacking side of things. Now, this is from um, Laurie Whitwell from The Athletic about what he is bringing to training itself. <coughs> Sorry. Got a little bit of a cough still. Man, for two weeks I've had a cough. Ridiculous. Van Nistelrooy bringing energy. Big focus and buzzword there. And down here, uh, Hake is expected to pick up the responsibility of Van der Gag for setting schedules, the mechanics of the sessions. But in terms of what Van Nistelrooy himself is bringing, this is a little bit, this is an interesting little uh, clip from Melissa Reddy from Sky Sports, and I'm going to go into it in a little bit more detail. Ruud van Nistelrooy was overseeing an attacking drill that focused on repetitive patterns, trying to get the players conditioned to do the same movement so it's pretty much automatic when they've got to do it on a match day. That turned out to be a very, very competitive drill. Man, I'm, still, I'm still just happy seeing Ruud in a Manchester United shirt again. But the idea of repetitive patterns... There's something that I mentioned in my pre-season video, right? And I know there's two of me on screen now. It's a little bit horrible. This word here, for Ineos. And a big buzzword for Ruud van Nistelrooy is width. Width. I said that that was a, a kind of a key part of van Nistelrooy's overarching philosophy of how he wants his teams to attack. And we can see here in this video. So there's actually a cornered off zone on the, on the, on the width of the pitch where there's an extra player that hangs out and double points... You get double points if you create a goal, or Manchester United currently in training. You get double points if you create a goal using these wide positions. You can see down here on the right-hand side in a second where the ball goes wide. That there are two players hanging out in these areas. And the emphasis on the, in these training drills, you can see them there now. One on each side, over there. The emphasis on these training drills is to get the ball wide there, bring the ball in, and create goal-scoring opportunities through these wide positions. And that is something that is going to be what I hope is a big difference that happens this season with Manchester United because last season we weren't creating enough from wide. Anytime we went wide, it would be Garnacho or Rashford or whoever it was cutting inside simply for themselves. We need to feed Hoyland. It's not creating from wide can of course come from a drive in. And then if you see this video here of Marcus Rashford looking pretty sharp, you can. See, I think this. Van Nistelrooy is going to be very, very good for Marcus Rashford. Little dink. Nice little move. But lots and lots of people have been saying that Marcus Rashford has been looking sharp. And uh, I think it's going to be a big difference maker, man. The width. That's clearly one of the big emphasis points of this preseason training so far. Or, or, or the difference between this preseason training and last preseason's training. And also another video here for you. Uh, this one here. Just kind of showing, again, what you would expect. An emphasis on one-touch football, building out from the back, just in the smaller drills here. United need to be so much better at playing out from the back with the ball this season. Moving the ball around quickly, one-touch, having the confidence to pass it around. So if Ruud van Nistelrooy is going to be focusing on the width, on the attacking patterns going forward, then I think, interestingly, we should speak about the differences that we're hearing in terms of the goalkeeping training under Van Ruela. Here, that's um, Onana, Vitek, and who else is there? Heaton and Van Ruela, Van Ruela there on the right-hand side. Don't actually know who the assistant goalkeeping coach is. Eh, it doesn't really matter. But this is where it gets interesting because Tom Heaton has been speaking about 
what the differences are or, or what the training is for the goalkeepers so far. And he's saying this, he goes, I've enjoyed the sessions. He works more on cognitive basic calls where it's making you think quite a bit. You can go down there. There was a blue cone and a yellow cone and it was a case of doing the opposite of what he asked. So if he shouted blue, you had to go to the yellow down there again. It does make you think so you're not just going through the motions. And a little bit here. <clears throat> Tom Heaton saying, I think you can see that games are changing a little bit. It's a little less off the cuff. And that bit there is the important one. You have got to work it out. You've got to be able to look in front of you. So I think the training is based around being more perceptive of what's in front of you. So it sounds like Van Ruela is trying to help the goalkeepers think. Which might, which might sound like a strange thing. To, to, of course he is, mate. But a goalkeeper has to be able to, in real time, now, understand what the best decision is. It's about decision making. And I think, clearly, that's what Van Rubelaar is trying to help the goalkeepers be better at. To train, you know, who was it? Was it? I think it was uh, Ralph Radnick when he did the old uh, the brain training conversations. It feels like that's what Rubelaar is doing with the goalkeepers. So, like, not only do we have a new face in... That's the wrong one there. Not only do we have a new face in terms of the attacking sense. And Van Nistelrooy clearly is going to have an emphasis on the width. And then you've got a new goalkeeping coach who's going to be helping Onana building out from the back with the ball and the goalkeepers in making the right decisions. And then you've got Hake who's going to be taking over. It's, it really sounds like Hake is kind of going to be the, as the Athletic reported there, the... And Mitchell van der Gag replacement in terms of the drills, the sessions, setting them up and making sure everybody is doing what they need to. And then, of course, you've got Eric Ten Hag overseeing all of it. <clears throat> I've got so much more belief in the setup of Manchester United now. I'm, I, I can't, ex I mean, you all know how much more belief I've got. I think a lot of you have got that same belief. But the support structure is there. The different minds are there bringing fresh energy, new energy, and maybe some new methods and tweaks into the attacking sense, into the goalkeeping sense. And Eric Ten Hag overall will be developing as a coach this season with this new support network that we've got. Will it bear fruit? Will Manchester United be a better attacking team as a consequence? Well, you'd hope so. Will Manchester United be better playing out from the back as a consequence? Well, you'd hope so. Add in the fact that you've got new signings into that. You've got a better support structure and you've got better coaching overall, better techniques new techniques, it all gears, well, not gears, but it, it all helps towards this fresh optimism that a lot of United fans have going into this season. And what we're seeing so far from the preseason training drills and the open training session, <laughs> I'm just excited. Football has this incredible ability to renew the hope. And it is the hope that kills you, but I'm pretty hopeful next season. You can let me know what you think about it so far in the comments.